Lost my bride to a finest man she claims to have known. He got near the parking lot, his knees were already bent. Love such a mighty drug, a mighty a disease. But he misses her from past the barge of one. Drew here from the Guitar Brothers Company, and uh, I'm here with a brand new guitar lesson on the brand new song Crooked Teeth by Zach Bryan. So, this EP dropped a few days ago. Um, I'm not sure how many days ago now, but time has been weird lately, as I'm sure you all know. Uh, turn on the new Zach Bryan EP. Um, this is the song that happened to be playing, so I figured I'd pick it on my guitar and figure it out for you guys. So, I just realized I shot um, about half this video uh, without realizing that I was in the wrong key. Um, Zach plays this song with the capo on the 3rd fret, I go down a few steps just because I can't sing that high. But he's going to play it with, a, with his capo here on the 3rd fret, and you're going to have 3 chords, alright? You're going to have an A minor, you're going to have a C, and you're going to have a G. So we're going to start off here on our A minor chord, and uh, we're not going to strum the whole thing just yet. Uh, we will do that later, but for now we're going to uh, just finger pick a bit. You can hybrid pick um, if you're into that. I find it a little tricky. I don't know. It's just it's just a lot going on, so I like to finger pick, but you can do either one, uh, depending on what you're comfortable with. Um, what we're going to start off doing, we're going to play our A minor, and we're going to play the A string, the G string, and the B string. And we're just going to pluck those three all together. Uh, the B string is going to be a little quieter than the other two, but not by much. Uh, then we're going to play our G string twice open, uh, along with... We're going to do a walk up on the A string from the 2nd to the 3rd fret. So. We're going to hit the G string again, then uh, hammer on to the 2nd fret of the D string, then play it open again. So. down to our G on the uh, low E string. Then we're going to do a little run. We're going to go A string, open, hammer on to the 2nd fret, D string, open, 2nd fret, and G string, open. Alright, now we're going to either hit the B string, 1st fret, or strum and hold A minor chord is what I like to do, but you can do either one. Right? So all together, that's a... Uh... So, uh, that... I don't think I've mentioned that hammer on yet. The very first time he starts the song... The second time, and every time after that, as far as I know, there's a, there's a hammer on to the second fret of the uh, G string. All right, so uh, that's going to go all through the the verses. Actually, sorry, that's going to be um, kind of a fancier way of playing it that he does in the intro, and he does between some of the verses and choruses. Uh, now, the way he plays it while he's singing is, is the same thing, but a little simpler. So instead of He's going to play Right? So it's, uh, that's your same way of playing the A minor with the three strings. The A string, the G string, and the B string. So slap. Same little walk up. But there's no... This is uh, just going to be G string, or G chord. You can play the G chord however you want. Uh, I, sometimes I'll just go. Sometimes I'll just leave my fingers where they are for the A minor. Or I suppose like that. Uh, you could even play up here if you wanted to. Just depending on whatever sound you're going for. If two Phillips is all it takes, I guess I'll make the drive. And down past the Texas line, make sure he's not alive. I can't sing that high. The file of 84. Uh, 
Work out around and you climb out that muddy river before. Now we're gonna play this little uh, riff that goes between some of the verses. It's gonna go like this. That's just going to be the second fret here of the uh, G string, open G string, second fret of the D string. So that's, yeah, it's like second fret, open on the G string, second fret of the D string, the third fret of our A string. Then it's going to come back up to the second fret of the D string, open D string. And our G down here on our low E fret, E string. <laughs> then it's going to be uh, the open D string, the uh, A string third fret, and A string open. So it's, it's harder than it, it's harder than it sounds. It's gonna go. It's gonna do that twice. Now we're gonna to go to the chorus, all right? And in the chorus, we're gonna play same chords, same order, but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be strummed. So instead of it's gonna be that's not how you strum a guitar. he repeats one eye and crooked teeth or something in crooked teeth it's going to go from the G to the A so in the, in the verses it's going to go like that and in the chorus then uh, after the chorus he's the bass is actually going to play the riff we just learned the that one and the, the guitar is going to go back to the Actually, this time instead of strumming that A minor chord, he's just gonna hit that uh, that B string. So next up, uh, we're gonna have another verse, another chorus, and then we're gonna have a solo. The solo is played on the acoustic guitar, and uh, I'm gonna show you two ways to do it. All right. So the first way, and the way I like better, um, because it keeps the sound kind of similar, uh, is you're gonna play the first half down here. But you can also play the first half up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off here. Uh, we're going to hammer on from the open uh, G string to the second fret. We're going to play the first fret of the B string, sorry. Then we're going to play the third fret. And then back to the first. Alright? Uh, if you're playing up here, it's going to be... It's going to be the, what, the D string. I'm going to start on the 5th fret, really, relative to the capo, sorry. And what you're going to do is you're going to hammer on to the, I guess that's the 7th fret then. Come up to the 5th fret um, of the, the G string. And hammer on to the 7th fret of that. Then you're going to bend. Same two notes as you've been playing. And you're gonna bend again. You're gonna bend, release, play the uh, third fret first, and then the second fret of the G string again, and the first fret of the B string. G string, second fret, open, hammer onto the second fret, or fret again, and play the first fret, or first fret of the B string. So that might have been a little confusing. Altogether, slowly, it's gonna go like this. Alright, and if you're playing up here,
The next part you're going to probably have to do up here. You're going to slide up from the, uh, I guess the fifth fret relative to the capo to the seventh on the D string. And then play the fifth fret of the G string. Then you're going to come up here to the B string. And you're going to slide from the, I'm, I'm just say regularly, it's going to be uh, your tenth fret or your eleventh fret here up to your thirteenth. Then the eleventh fret of your D string, or your high E string, sorry. So together, the slides are going to go... So that's actually going to be the same riff uh, in two different octaves, right? We can play the timing a little different, obviously. Alright, then you're going to... You're going to bend up on the thirteenth fret of the high E string. Come back to regular. The eleventh fret of the E string. And we're back on to the 13th fret. Then you're going to play the 15th. You're going to walk down 15, 13, 11. Uh, back to the 13th. 11th. Then the 13th fret of the B string. Back to the 11th fret of the high E string. So. Or. Either way. Then you're going to come back down. So all together. After the solo, we're just gonna end off the song back in a nice chill verse. Not the first verse, so the second verse. So uh, he's gonna sing. I lost my bride to the finest man she claims to have ever known. When he got to the parking lot, his knees were already bumped. Love is such a mad drug. Can't sing this out. Mad at human disease. But he misses her from past the barge of one eye cricket. One eye cricket. One eye Alright, that's how he's going to finish off the song, and with that, we've learned it. It's pretty simple, you know, three chords, uh, plays them a little bit differently, but you got to keep it interesting, right? So, I've been really digging the new Zach Bryan EP, if y'all haven't heard it, go check it out. Uh, this song is probably one of my favorites, but, I mean, I'll probably do videos on the other ones, coming up soon, right? Because they're, they're nice, simple, acoustic, easy to get into, and, uh, yeah. So, if you guys like this video, go ahead and drop us a like, if you want to see more, subscribe. Uh, if you want to tell me something, leave a comment down below. Uh, I know this apartment's a bit of a mess. It's, I, I feel, I, I, I say I've just moved in here, right? I moved in here like two months ago. So anyways, guys, uh, this has been Drew from the Guitar Brothers Company, and thanks for watching.